everyone welcome back to my channel um or welcome if you're new today's video is going to be something i've never tried doing before um it's a groundwork kind of training video but filmed from a gopro it's kind of a groundwork training vlog gopro version i've never filmed something like this with my gopro i've only ever messed around with it um so hopefully this video works out. Sorry if the editing's not perfect or something. I am not the best at editing. I don't have the best app for editing and stuff. But hopefully this works out okay. Anyway, I'm just going to go catch my pony right now. She can be quite difficult to catch. But I've worked out this way with her. That basically I just kind of stand close by and wait for her to come to me. Because after some time she will get... The interest, will, the curiosity will just be too strong and she'll come up to me. Um, today, well, when this video was filmed, um, it was actually slightly, didn't work that well because she was nibbling on some hay um, from her hay net that had fallen out. Um, and so she wasn't that interested in me. Um... So I did kind of try walking around, getting her attention. Uh, wasn't working very well. She was still just eating her hay. you can see just still kind of trying to get my attention when I walk closer to her she kind of just steps away so I'm not going too close because I don't want her to start running and chasing me along the field So I did in the end decide to pick up some hay and coax her of that and she did just come to me and I could slip the halter on her easily. If I didn't coax her with the hay then she would have run away or I would have been standing um, forever trying to waiting for her. So just tie the halter on, give her a stroke, tell her she's a good girl. And then I'm just going to take her to a smaller paddock because this paddock both my horses are in and it's really poached and wet while the smaller paddock it has just our sheep um, in it. Just three little sheep and they don't poach it so it's a lot better to work there and it's also drier so when she stops and doesn't want to walk forward I just use the rope just kind of swing the end of the rope next to her to use the energy to kind of push her forward I don't touch her with it don't hit her with it just use the energy to push her forward a little bit so she walks on she usually doesn't go through the mud so well but this time she actually did just walk straight through can see the mud's not the easiest place to be walking on, that's why we're just coming to this field. So the sheep actually have been fed here and there's a bucket with some hay on the floor around it from where the sheep are eating and she is very interested in it and wants to go eat the hay obviously so I was just trying to kind of walk her around it kind of show her that she's not allowed to eat it and she was actually handling it quite well and I had to get my dressage whip or what I call a training stick um from the bucket um because I put it in there so I had to ask for her to wait um she was a very good girl didn't try to come to the hay once she had the opportunity so I'm very proud of her for that so 
first, what I'm going to just do, just do the first thing to kind of get my, get her to respect me a bit more, I just ask her to yield away, yield to hindquarters when I walk towards them. I do it on both sides, just so that we have even training, because horses learn from each side separately and um, she's very good at this so we don't really have to do much of it also excuse if um you see some people in the background that's my mom and her friends so i'm just kind of walking her around, just stroking her, giving her some attention, because she loves it. I don't know why I spend such a long time stroking her. Um, I think I was kind of waiting for my mom and her friends to pass. Before I started doing stuff, because I kind of get a bit embarrassed doing it in front of people. Um, yeah, she's just looking over there. She can hear people. So I made this little obstacle um, for her to kind of go in between the tires. So I first walk her around it just to let her sniff it, see how she reacts. And she's seen these tires many times before because I make jump out of, jumps out of them um, for her. So she was completely okay with them. So I just went ahead and led her through it. And she was a good girl. She did it as if she's done it a million times. Um... And she, this was actually her first time doing it. She's just looking over at the sheep right now because they went, my parent, my mom and her friends were over by the tack room and hay storage. The sheep went over there because they thought they were going to be fed and then obviously she thought she was going to be fed if the sheep went um, so, she was just staring over there. Once again, she's trying to stare at the hay, kind of wants some hay. Just giving her some scratches. Now what I did with her is I just kind of working on pushing her head away from me. So once again she kind of moves away from pressure. And on her left side she's really good. On her right she kind of walks off when I ask her. So we were just wait working on her just taking one step and to the side and that's it and there she did it very well so very proud of her for that and there she just managed to grab a little bit of hay a little cheeky pony So now I'm just taking her over to the fence um, to practice some side passing. Um, basically what I do is I'll stand backwards to the fence and she'll stand forward to the fence. And that means, because side pass is quite a hard thing for them to learn. She's been learning it for quite some time. She's still not perfect. Um, basically, um, it, they have, if you do it against the fence... Um, they have one less direction to choose from, so it's easier to figure out 
it's easier for them to figure out what you're asking them for because they can only choose between sideways and backwards forward is like eliminated i do it against um an electric fence it's not under electricity but um it'll bend if she pushes me into it while a solid one won't so because she's a horse um and i trust her but horses are unpredictable animals they can always spook um so it's always best to be safe so I'll do it against a bendable fence or something that she can't really push me into and hurt me. There I was just wiping my GoPro because it started raining and I wanted to make sure there's no droplets and you can see clearly. So then we're just doing... I basically just wave my training stick, hold it by her side, and wave it a bit like you can see, um, and ask her to do take a couple steps. I do leave a bit of space for her to walk forward because she can't go completely sideways yet. She kind of goes sideways and walks forward at the same time. And basically, what I'm looking for is just for her to cross over her feet. Um, she is a bit nippy on her when we do it towards walking towards the right for some reason this is actually her worst side but she did it better this time than um the her good side so she wasn't quite getting in the right position to do the side pass so i just kind of asked her to move out a little walk around to get in a better position and then i kind of started asking her a bit and there she actually did it really nicely um, with the nipping, um, she doesn't actually bite me, she used to, we managed to unteach that, um, and she kind of just does it as an automatic reaction if she's kind of a bit annoyed or a bit frustrated for, about not being, not knowing what she's being asked for or something, um, so, but she won't actually nip you, she just has that reaction still, like, programmed in her so i took her away from the fence uh because it's getting windy the wind was picking up i didn't want her to spook by the road and um, so now we started doing a bit of spanish walk training she's once again just on the very beginning she finds it quite hard to um pick things up uh, so basically i just tapped her on the leg very gently with the training stick for her to lift it up and that's basically the first step of the Spanish walk training. I'm giving her lots of scratching, showing her she's a good girl. And she decided to start eating the training stick because she likes to eat everything she can get her teeth on. And at this point, it started raining and hailing really bad. Can't really exactly tell in the video right now, but you will be able to tell in a second. Um, it started to rain and hail very bad, so we had to um, cut our session short. So I just left her in the small paddock because here they have shelter. Um, and so she can go hide if she wants to. But um, she actually decided to go eat the hay when, um, when I let her off. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's kind of like a tutorial, but not exactly. It was more meant to be a vlog. And make sure to like if you liked this video. Please comment and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!